Today on the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries, Wade's taken out the brand new Thompson Center Compass 2 rifle in hopes of finding luck at a nearby pond. And then later we join Wade's stepdaughter Haley on her first whitetail hunt. It's not quite six o'clock, sun's going to come up in about an hour. We only have about a 10, 15 minute run in the Wolverine to get where we're headed this morning. Uh, we're going to be sitting up in a box blind. It really should be just a spectacular view. It's on a pond dam and uh, you can see this kind of up into the corner of this pond and, and there's a little hill that runs off to this side. Lots of bedding areas, lots of places for them to to feed in there as well. It seems like right now there's a few deer that kind of come from that area, but most of the deer are coming from in front of us uh, across there. This is a rifle hunt. We've got the Thompson Center Compass. It's basically the generation two. This is the second model. You know, the Compass has been a highly successful rifle for Thompson Center. Uh, I'm gonna shoot a 6.5 Creedmoor today, which should be perfect for these Texas deer that we're hunting. And uh, the, the rifle itself, I mean, it's just the perfect price point rifle for a lot of hunters that demand accuracy, demand durability, demand quality. Uh, you know, I've got a little Cabela's uh, scope on top of it. And so it should be a pretty fun hunt because the view ought to be spectacular. When you get a deer, you never know till you sit down and see what shows up. construction of your box blinds. There's a lot of guys that'll go try to build them in their garages and that's fun for them. And then there's you know all the pre-made ones uh, of all types of different configurations and sizes, whether they're one man or five men type blinds. Uh, the things that I like to look for in a lot of the box blinds are good windows that you can lock. I can't tell you how many times in my life that I have cleaned up after raccoons and owls and other critters that have got in there. And do that that's not fun you're wasting productive time but you know this muddy blind we're in right here it's got a multitude of shooting angles and i like how they've got their windows system set up to where i've basically got four locks there to be able to close that in and, and it, it makes it wasp and bug and owl and all the different critters proof for, for you to be able to keep them out because that's what you want to be able to do now Come hunting season, I will tell you this, that's one final tip when I look when I start talking about windows. I do leave my windows open during the times so that I know I'm gonna be hunting more. I think that you deer get a more acclimated to it. You know, this is a brand new stand that was just recently put up that we've been hunting out of and, and we had some action in there, a couple good deer that we couldn't get the camera on across behind us in the shadows. We had some does and a little small buck that kind of came through, but see how lit up I am right now already and uh, so we're going to get out of here and put some, come back and put some tarps in kind of darken this blind up a little bit uh, for the evening and the next morning hunts uh, because we know the deer are using this area so got to be where the deer want to go so we're going to season this blind for lack of a letter, uh, better term and uh, get set up for a later hunt. Now as Wade and Jeff outfit their blind for the next hunt We'll take a short break and meet back up with them as they go out for an evening hunt. Stay tuned. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you by Yamaha's proven off-road ATVs and side-by-side -side vehicles. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Garmin Zero. Leave the guesswork behind. We know if you found one crappie, you may have found a thousand. We know the joy of getting your boots back in the mud. We know the journey can be more rewarding than the destination. We know the great outdoors. We love the great outdoors. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. 
Stop by today for huge savings on the gear you need and the brands you trust. Plus, free two-day shipping at BassPro.com and Cabela's.com. Inside every Yamaha lives the heart and soul of a competitor. The DNA of a champion. When you ride with us, it revs your heart and becomes a part of you too. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. Wade is hunting out of a muddy box blind set up on a small pond, and he's hoping more deer will show up this afternoon as the sun sets and provides some much needed shade. All right, we made it to where we're going to park. We're not too far away. Uh, kind of parked in the shade of this big tree right here. The box blind is just up and across there on that pond dam. We're going to park a little different and try to walk in. We we know from past history that the deer are bedding. You can see the elevation change. We know that's where the deer are mostly bedding. That doesn't mean they're not going to come from other directions, but we feel like that's where they're going to come from. We're going to hike across this pasture and get into the stand pretty quick. You know, when it's in the shadows, when the shade gets out around that pond, they ought to get up and come along there and uh, work that edge pretty good and feed a little bit, probably get some drinks. Let the sun go down, let the deer show up, see what happens. sided in the compass pretty much dead on at, at 100 yards so I mean, wherever we're aiming at the distance we're shooting if laws we're shooting this way uh, your boat's going to hit right where we're you know, going across there's at so we know what the gun is going to perform at because we spent a lot of time at the range learning the new trigger that's built into this generation this basically second compass model that's just come out It's an emotional deal. It's a mistake we would make because when we left the range, we were dialed in exactly where we need to be. Still got more time. 
Wade isn't discouraged yet. He's going back out for one more hunt when we return. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you by Thompson Center, America's master gunmaker. Conquest Sense, Hunt Sense, and Dog Training Sense. Walkers, protect it or lose it. High-Vis Shooting Systems, see what you've been missing. How do you aim a 36-yard shot with a 30-yard fixed pin at a 15-degree angle with a 7-inch holdover without moving a single pin? Easy. You get one of these. Zero. The auto-ranging digital bow sight from Garmin. The Thompson Center Compass 2. A feature-rich rifle packed with value and a higher standard of reliable accuracy. Now with Generation 2 trigger and threaded muzzle, offered in scoped and non-scoped versions and in a wide variety of calibers, from the range to the fields to the mountains, TC has a rifle to match every hunter's needs. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. As Wade climbs into the frog pond stand, as he calls it, he's hoping that tonight, a deer that gets his heart pumping will show up. Last time we sat in here, my frogs were croaking like crazy in the evening. We were watching herons eat snakes. I mean, it's just a very live area, and we saw quite a few deer. Um, we just, you know, chose not to shoot one that night. That night might be a little different story, so hopefully something will come out. Wind could be perfect, but better. I mean, you can see what's blowing. Everything's blowing back the other direction. It's it's still pretty early. It's just after five o'clock, and uh, you know we need the shadows to keep getting longer and longer. And last time we were here, I don't know, man, it was like the last 25 minutes. Deer just started pouring out. Now most of them were young deer, and uh, so we just kind of thought, boy, any minute the right one was going to show up. But as the sun set that day, he didn't. Hopefully today something will come out. That'll get us pretty excited and we'll all put the crosshairs on him and, and knock him down. Smoke that deer right there. I mean, the compass does it again. How cool is that? We have sat here quite some time, and we've seen quite a few really cool deer coming through here, this little pond. And, I mean, every time we've sat here, we've seen a lot of really good deer, you know, young deer getting around, moving around, doing all kinds of different things. We've, I mean, this has been one of the coolest spots to sit just because of everything we've seen. But that deer there, he's still in velvet, and he's late in the year. It's it's some kind of stag, um, basically. You know, that can be a, a birth issue. It can be a low testosterone thing. Uh, it's just hard to say, really, what caused that. But that is one of the coolest deer right there. He's just an eight point, but what a beautiful deer out there. I mean, he just come in, come off that hill. There was four other bucks kind of running together, and they just kind of eased all down in there and got right out in front of the scouting camera. We put a record rack up block out there, one of those wild berry blocks, and I mean, those deer just absolutely love that, and he got 
got over there and was eating on it, milling around, and we got him, a DC compass. This is a generation two one where I was talking about that new trigger. Then take about three or four pounds. Bam! Smoked him. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> I love to white tail hunt. I just something about it, you know. This hunt here, we're in the big honeymoon suite, as my buddy Scott calls it, and it, uh, it's just a cool spot here. I call this the frog pond because there's so many frogs out there running around, and just a neat spot right here. It's just pretty watching those deer filter down. And we sat here a couple of times and, and never got anything, but when you look at the, the the aerials of this, it is just a cool spot. Big fields behind us, big hills where they bed, big drain and draw where they were coming down. Uh, we're gonna go get to Wolverine and get that one loaded up, be back at camp, and have a good dinner, stories to tell. <laughs> That's cool. Congratulations, Wade, on your first Thompson Center Compass 2 entry into the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. Hey, now when we return, we may have another TC Compass 2 entry as Wade takes Haley out on her first ever deer hunt. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you by Smith & Wesson Performance Center, performance when it matters most. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. Muddy, serious gear for serious hunters. Others decock, we do it safely. The new AccuSlide safe decocking system revolutionizes the crossbow market. Simply backwind the handle, stopping at any point without fear of damage, injury, or losing control. Meet the new Vengeant S440 and Viper S400 featuring the AccuSlide. Speed up to 440 feet per second, 5.8 inches wide. It's three and a half pound zero creep trigger delivers. Same hole accuracy. The Vengeant S440 and Viper S400 from 10 point. To me, the Performance Center by Smith & Wesson means taking the best and making it better. Regardless if I'm passing on the traditions of hunting or teaching someone new about the outdoors, I know that using a Performance Center handgun will be something they will remember for the rest of their lives. Every model comes with an awesome trigger. They're reliable in all the conditions as well as offering a variety of sight and scope mounting capabilities. The Performance Center by Smith & Wesson. Performance when it matters most. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. Wade is taking his stepdaughter Haley out on her first whitetail hunt with the all-new Thompson Center Compass 2 rifle. The great thing about the rifle is that it's perfect for seasoned hunters and new hunters, all at a reasonable price for you to enjoy the outdoors. All right, during her first sit, Haley knocked down a hog with her Compass 2, and for the afternoon, she's after a whitetail buck. Since this morning, I think I have the hunting bug now because I want to go again <laughs> for round two. And I guess we're going to go for a deer or an axis today. I'm excited. I like the Yamaha, so that'll be fun to take it out to our hunting site. And just I'm hoping we see something out today. So I'll be, I'm super excited. Even if we don't get anything, I'll be excited just for the experience. You know, this particular blind, it's really a cool location. You got a spring fed creek that's running through. Um, it's a place that we've got a timer feeder up in the brush. You see everything there axis, whitetail, psychos, all dead, turkeys galore. Um, it's just one of those locations that you dream of having uh, on your deer lease and uh, and we're thankful and fortunate too. And we had just kind of really recently hastily constructed a a ground blind and that we added to uh, the morning right after we'd taken the hog we had driven over there added some more brush kind of freshened it up put some gear out because i mean hunting with Haley and angel is like carrying like moving an apartment you know we got to have chairs we got to have this we want to be comfortable which is important and uh I mean, we were ready as we settled in we were definitely ready
one of the first things she noticed was the the crisp trigger. It didn't take a lot of uh, a lot of poundage and a lot of pull to be able to pull that trigger because the new Compass Gen 2 it basically has a trigger that's uh, set you know in that mid three pound range and it is an, it's an easy gun to shoot, very accurate without breaking the bank. When that gun went off. And that deer dropped in its tracks. I mean, I know what that means as a hunter. And as a new hunter, I, you, you can just see it. It's, it's such a fulfilling moment. And, you know, I've been fortunate to do it from, for people that are five years old all the way to people that are 70 years old take their first deer and, and go hunting. And um, I think it's as you get older, you, you, you cherish those moments more. I, I know I do. You know, I look forward to more first adventures with Haley. You know, she's already expressed an interest in bow hunting, which I think is a phenomenal step up and, and a whole nother thing you've got to learn and practice. So it'll be fun to watch her evolve as a hunter and, and, and her enjoyment of it, as well as it is all the kids and, and people that come through the camp. I mean, it is, if you hunt and you fish and you get to pass it on and you get to see people grow with it, there's few things better than watching other people find success in something that you have a passion and have a passion for many decades. Congratulations, Haley, on your first entry into the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. To learn more about the Thompson Center Compass 2 rifle, head on over to tcarms.com. Well, that'll do it for this episode. See you next time. We plan all year for this. We hone our skills. We have confidence in the gear we choose. We pour over thousands of images and videos. When the time comes, will you be ready? Introducing the all new 4K camera by Stealth Cam. Proven. What does it take to make Evercom deer scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom, testing each batch. It smells like deer. And then pouring each container. Each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom, from Conquest Scents. From sun up to sun down, day in and day out, we work hard, we play hard, and to keep us going during those long hours, we demand performance. Angle Coolers, the original high performance cooler. From the backwoods, to the backyard. Sawyer's Permethrin, odorless insect repellent, repels and kills mosquitoes, ticks, and other harmful insects. And with just one application lasting for up to six weeks, you can enjoy the outdoors as much as we do. <laughs> Sawyer, we keep you outdoors.
I came back from Afghanistan with a traumatic brain injury. I couldn't talk. I still can't talk right. I didn't want to leave the house. Then my wife, God bless her, she got me off the couch and said, hey, enough's enough. You got to get back outdoors. The hunting gave me a whole new purpose, you know. It sped up my recovery big time. When I was deployed, I trusted Trader Con, and I still do today. Sergeant Rob Gustafson, U.S. Army retired. Trigicon, brilliant aiming solutions.